I'm going to set up this computer and I'm going to talk about a video, uh, some notes taken from some notes uh, by a user called The Global Atheism, uh, which was how to, uh, again, how to deconstruct, how to dismantle presuppositional apologetics. Now, I totally agree with him in the general, and what you could call the most important part, I guess, is that this is the last breath of Christian apologia of, of uh, intellectual sort. It's right after this that uh, apology for Christian ways of looking at things or theistical evaporates. And it's just a matter of philosophical history. You know, this, this, this is, it's back from the time of Descartes where, the, you know, in the Kierkegaards and the people that by all rights should have been post-Christian and still holding on to various ideas of God, for that matter, because deists think about it. It's like, well, we give up on all, but that is still true in the world. So, okay. So we're just seeing history play out now, so that's good. But it's not the last defense of Christianity, uh, period, but of, like, philosophers that could try to justify the thing. But the funny thing to me is that everybody gets it a little bit wrong, if not a lot wrong, on the way. And uh, the global atheism you know, it makes an interesting video, but still I would like to contrast my answer to his. I'm not as interested in comparing my answer to presuppositional kind of arguments uh, directly, though I was thinking of making a video about that. Because it's, it's to me, it's a done deal. This argument was had, you know, a couple hundred years ago. And uh, uh, we, could, we could probably become very popular by just to just look at how it went then and then kabuki your way through the same motions, because it seems to be going on now. But I'm not interested in that. But I am interested in the fact that I don't think a lot of atheists uh, understand the real, the real basis. The real basis is that arguments always come from propositions. You know, the idea of an axiom is a proposition where you don't have to go any further. But logically, that just means it's not proved. How, but you know it's true. Well, the real problem is the faith in logical, immutable logical laws, and in, in, uh, in also the, the confusion that has happened. I'm just telling you practical facts, and as far as I'm concerned, it's been looking at history, not, not an opinion on philosophy so much as just the history of these ideas. When you uh, when you're holding on to a faith in immutable logical laws, it is similar to having a faith in God. It's just that feeling of, but it has to be that way. How else could it be? It's that same old feeling. How else could it be? That every belief in God, that uh, it's wrong to eat this animal, it's good to eat that animal, that's, that's all we have that feeling associated with it. So there is a link. On the other hand, obviously, uh, the solution is to just we'll believe in him and just say God is like <laughs> The solution is to have another 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 approach, and that approach is, you know, has one name, is that the embodied mind approach, that's not how I thought of it, I think it was relativism and skepticism, it's an empiricism, uh, perspective-based information processing, the embodied mind tends to place that in, in, you know, the evolutionary, it sort of shows, like, it doesn't have to be perfect, it could be pretty good, you know, no bridge is perfect, what's it even mean, that's that? You measure this against your the life experiences that you have as a result of applying these ideas. And the idea that philosophy just got so uh, separated from from people's lives, well, that's because of the theism. That's what allowed that. Now, the theism's gone. Philosophy's got to come right back down to stand-up philosophy of how people uh, live. And uh, so that's why I'm going to... Go through my notes as I build this. I mean, as I, uh, no, I'm not building. I'm just setting up a Mac Mini, my old Mac Mini. <coughs> that I still need. This other one here I built, uh, I believe it was like $650, including the monitors, but it's a much better machine than that, I believe. <coughs> it's like a 3.2 quad core, but it's AMD. <coughs> Unlocked. I might try that. It's pretty fast for me. The monitors are definitely cheapo monitors. And I found out with the same stuff, it still works for me, but um, this one only has an old RGB. And this one has a, um, 
DBI, so I was surprised <coughs> they didn't have uh, more options there. You know, they're like, this is where you can apply. <coughs> you just set this dash to get stuck. Okay. Why invest? So, let's see. Um, first of all, he was talking about. Um, He's, he talked about the global atheists and talked about how uh, he talked a lot of wording, which is what people generally descend to. Well, you do this thing, you the other side is what you Well, the thing is, um, this is a good part. I think I'm going to change in. Well, I'll talk about uh, presuppositional apologetics, but I'm certainly not going to make it. Thing, I'm going to make 